So, this episode we're going into the conductor's cart. And hopefully the mystery about certain things will be revealed. Where was Espio? Right? If he was not actually reading in the library. If you have any thoughts, write it down in the comments below before we get through this episode to see if your prediction is right. So let's begin. All right, time to get to the next area. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. Let's go, Tails. We can do this. Oh, the robot arm is knocked out. What is going on? Oh, he looks so young there. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him through the train at all. Throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. What? What type of phrase is that? Okay. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Oh, poor arm. Yuck. How creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grasp. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off. But the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Maybe Sonic was fighting the train. Aye, aye, sir. Broken robot arm added to the inventory. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait. What is... What's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. So that's the conductor's cup. All right, <laughs> all right, we get it. He loves his wife. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Huh, should I say something? Start beatboxing. If you can hear this, your armpits stink. I'm gonna beatbox. Lola, why are you reaching for the mic? Oh, yeah! Can't do that in real life at all. <laughs> Amy. Mm. Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That was impressive, Lola. Thank you for sharing. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here for a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Ah, uh, yes. I wish that too. Oh, yeah. Alpha, let there be something in this trash bin. You know, I'm alright. I don't think need to check the trash bin. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, me? You're satisfied with finding a clue here before. I know. They say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. What are you talking about? No, no, they're right. You should always check the trash bin. Let's give it a look. <laughs> you gave in so easily. Will you be okay if there's nothing in there? I found something once. No one can take that away from me. I'll be fine. <laughs> hmm. Nothing in there, huh? Oh, no. You look so sad about it. <laughs> you two have been talking over the trash can for a while now. <laughs> Did you find something? Yeah, I want to see. Is it a clue? Mm. Mm. Maybe Jess, leave Lola alone for a second. Uh, uh, huh? <laughs> leave me alone for a second. There's something on the ground there. Let me check this thing out first. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train, like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, guys. And this. Hmm, what's this? Was someone playing darts? Is that a tranquilizer? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train? Hmm. Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tells is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. 
the conductor had it. He has, he had to have it. That's my suspicion right now. Let's make note of it. Glow dart is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. What? How's Amy gonna know? Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we name the suspect. What do you think, Lola? Ready to solve this case? I'm ready. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Who did it? Who did done it? Who did done it? Hmm. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Lola. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Hmm? Vector? Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready? Let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many anemones, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself, the amusement of a chase. I see why you, you're a detective outside of this mystery, SBO. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. That's cool. I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Huh. Yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! Hmm? Hmm? Huh? What in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Huh? Uh, he he he's not responding to us S sonic what is he hurt why isn't he moving sonic sonic can you hear us he's banged up if there is a pause it's weak set him down vector make sure his head is propped up i'll help you hmm i knew one of you would take this too far huh which one of you did this to sonic on my birthday no less could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again which one of you did this. Mm hmm? Hmm? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. <clears throat> Amy is pissed. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. S Sonic? He really was hurt this whole time and I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Lola, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? I don't think it's any of these people. It's definitely not Amy. Shadow was locking the door. Where was Espio at? But Espio wouldn't hurt. Oh my god, why do I gotta click one? I'm gonna say Espio. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? Huh? Huh? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if that it's a battle of wits, you wish. I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Lola, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Vector's been acting protective. We discovered a hidden passage. All right, um, we found a hidden passage. Vector's been acting protective. We found a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library to the lounge car. 
in the lounge the hidden passage exists behind a wardrobe i feel lucky we even found it not only would espio avoid any locked doors but that would put him in the car just before this one you have no evidence i used any secret passage i answered all your questions without flaw i was reading the entire time remember it's true you did miss a you didn't miss a question but i think lola and i can explain that too lola how did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? He's a poet. A ninja like him speed reads. Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? Th that's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot i don't know it is plausible espio is particularly skilled i've known espio a long time he once read read a book i was reading just to spoil the ending for me <laughs> if i'm right and espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage then espio could have met sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered since we're only talking about talking what ifs let me throw something at you how was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio have no, even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Lola and I might not have the evidence to answer your question. But we know someone who does, Lola. Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Shadow. That wasn't exactly who I had in mind. Maybe you could give me a hint. They told us we can see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Who told us that? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the Hidden Passage? See something later? I don't remember that. Who? The Blueprints! Rouge. We need to see the, those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever. I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up code. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Lola, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen these blueprints? Espio swiped them from the conductor. Espio found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Lola and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Lola and I have evidence on how it was done. Hmm? Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? With a ninja blow dart? Okay. Now to form an argument. Oh, here it comes. Come on, focus. You're close, Lola. What would Sonic do? Sonic would fail on his first try. Because that's what I would do. Oh my gosh. Ow. I need these. Oh, you... Ah, it's okay. Let me try again. That was unexpected. Woo, that was really close. I forgot again! Oh my gosh! Oh, jeez. Remember to use the bounce pads at that point. Yeah. 
Bounce pads. Oh, not not here. Here. Oh, and I was close to the end when with that part. Jeez. This blow dart was found here in the conductor room. Huh? I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then, why are there so many holes in it? There's so many holes because no one here did it! You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah, shoot. That's a good point. But Tails was on to something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors. And Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Lola and I know another way it could have been done. We, we do? What piece of evidence do we need to take care a closer look at it? What is this? The blueprints? Guess the blueprints, right? The robot arms? Huh. Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Lola. Think. Oh my god, there's so many of these. I don't like it. Ow! Already? Big oof. Let's give it another try. I'm not gonna remember it. Yay. Did I do it? Okay. Alright, let's take a quick look. If FBO didn't take the secret passage to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Hmm. There's there's a path above the conductor car. Really? And it goes all the way to the dining car. Oh, above. Huh? Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it. Oh my goodness, through the vent over there. Huh? He's sweating. The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back there. And a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit in Sonic with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Huh? Tells, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's being dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? The robot arms. Who? Now to think about my argument. You can do this, Lola. You can do this. There is so many of these, I'm not liking it. Oh gosh. I'm missing so many! Ah! 
Okay, gotta try again. I gotta jump sooner to get those. Of course. Ow! No! No! This is bad! This is bad. Oh, Too many times. Too many times ran into spikes. Let's do it again. I can't afford to keep falling into these. Okay, I can't I can't afford to do this anymore. Ah, I still failed. Three times is too much. Oh my gosh. Oh my god! Oh my gosh. That's terrible. I didn't make it again. Oh my god, I got less! Okay, oh my gosh. I gotta cut some of this out. Just barely made it. Oh my goodness. Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? <clears throat> Certainly, a fight broke out here, and one of those these are robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could gra have grabbed Sonic passed out from the blow dart and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? Eh. I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales. But you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. Huh? What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Amy. Amy, you received the hot scoop, did you not? Oh, he's sweating. I think it's time you told us where that hot that scoop came from. Huh? Tails, you're you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday present. My that scoop came from you, Espio? Huh? No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Huh? Misheard you? Y yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. Wh what? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Ugh. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? It's a game. He's supposed to lie. I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. 
When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. It was you, SBO! You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, Sonic's up. Hey, hey guys. Sonic, you, you okay? Sonic. And just as we solved the mystery, <laughs> it was Sonic himself. Espio was the murderer. Right? Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart though, really? It's non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The trains of Bad Nick. Knew it! Oh yeah. Huh? Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, no. We all need to get off this train. We're not safe. W what? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train but what he was telling me i had a bad feeling i asked to see the power source the conductor hadn't even seen it when we took a look we realized the train's powered by a flicky <gasps> a flicky the tiny animal there's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source dr eggman i told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed he refused the way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bagnick. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right. As we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Uh? Uh? Uh. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Conductor. Uh -huh. Hey, stop. What are you doing? The conductor was taken. I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms. <coughs> oh my goodness. That's so awesome. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed through the robot arm. Sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of that this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him and... But I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Uh, uh. <laughs> Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> we know, Espio. We know. Yeah, we already knew that. Uh, the situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. So, as I said in an earlier episode when we were in the library with Espio, his skill allowed him to read my mind too. He would make the perfect murderer. Just that. And he can't read anyone else's mind if they were the murderer. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hurt with a blow hit by with a blow dart. Eh? I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart on Sonic. Oh. Station in the conductor car. It is laced with non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. See? What is that? It says use this blow dart on Sonic station in the conductor car. It is laced with non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express staff. What is this instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Huh? Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. 
What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Lola, do you think... Well, well who do you think attacked the hand and handed Espio the blow dart? The, con the conductor or the train itself? The train itself. I believe something's being orchestrated. Been orchestrated things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. Huh? First, we learned the train's a bad nick, and now it's out to get us. Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train? Huh? Come out and show yourself. Amy? It's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it. Amy hits the wall with a hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train could have it. Can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? The whole train shut down? The whole train locked down. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Huh? Mmm. Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Huh? Huh? Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails like we always planned. We always planned. Does he have a wife? What are you? Enough! The train's picking up speed. Everyone, grab something. Huh? Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! Ha 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 ha! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Whoa! No, no! I can't keep my footing. Ah ha! Ah! Sound like I hit my head hard or something. What just happened? Uh, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pocket. Uh, uh, my head tells Amy. Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hang in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me. I'm doing amazing. I feel terrible. <laughs> I feel terrible, yeah. Things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation is dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Uh, Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's, br let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea, lead the way. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here too. Whoa, it's, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. Ah, what a mess in here. With the robotic arms going rogue, I wonder who will pick all this up. Look at all this salt that's spilled. No wonder you're having bad luck. Quick, pick some up and toss it over your shoulder. Okay, a pinch of salt and dare over the shoulder. Perfect. I can already tell our luck is turning around. Y yeah, I guess you're right. Why do I actually feel calmer? Oh, the window's bolted. Oh, man. What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. I never got to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the train sights couldn't be beat. I was excited. After all we've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. The conductor and I found Vector's ticket in this napkin holder. What was his ticket doing here? Maybe he confused the napkin for his ticket and his ticket for a napkin? Ha! Hope this ticket didn't have a ketchup stain. That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Huh? Well, that 
that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. H Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Eggman. Ho oh, ho ho, you spiky blue pests. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? You own the train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Ah, uh, ignoring that? They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously, courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable. The people fear giant's fears. It's science. It's cut. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, you prophetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you know, not know this was happening? Heavens no. I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. <laughs> you see, the capability of a bad neck is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision and report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capabilities of intellectual thought is extraordinary, a feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it, the train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. Huh? See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badnets compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Hmm? The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward. Most of my robots ask for something simple like an autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train it may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you dumb blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever cross me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. Haha, <laughs> ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation. And being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. Hmm. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time, we were all in danger and I went along with it. Hmm. Sonic was really hurt. The Kung Doctor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. I didn't try hard enough. I should have done more. Uh, am I at fault here? I knew Sonic was hurt along, all along. I couldn't keep anyone safe. I knew Sonic was- Hey! Huh? I can tell the situation is getting to you. Oh yeah, sorry, I- I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here, helping me think through this before I do something rash. See? I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Haha, <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe, okay? We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get there? Get through. Believe in yourself. What would you do? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. <coughs> Door locked. And he broke through the door. Wow. With one big wind up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. Heh. Now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Actually, give me one second. I get it. Well, let me know when you're ready. All right, so with that, there's nothing to click over here, right? With that, I think, uh, I think I'll call this episode. 
There's been way too much happening. And it's all chaos. <laughs> so, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And I hope that you can join me in the next one to see how this series concludes. I'm going to think that the next episode will be the last. But um, we'll see. So, well, as I confirmed, SPO conducted the murder in the game. But, in the long run, I was thinking that the train or the conductor were bad. So, my hunch was a little bit right. So, with that said, no matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye-bye.